Here is um, Hugh Hewitt. And this was what? Friday afternoon, I think it was. Friday afternoon. This is before the, uh, the attack on the synagogue. Back when there was just 12 or 13 bombs. I think we're at the 13th now, but at the time I think it was 12. Sent to the leaders of the Democratic Party. Then some... African American uh, uh, Congress people perceived as you know at the top leadership, I guess. Maxine Waters, I guess, part of the leadership. Um, but then uh, a couple other administrative uh, figures, and of course George Soros. And here is MSNBC on Meet the Press Daily making it mostly like a he said, she said type of situation. I mean, a couple of things on this. Uh, you know, terms- Hold on. Here's, St- here's Stephanie Cutter with Hugh Hewitt. A couple of things on this, Uh, you know, in terms of what Jeff said, he never gets to the point where he follows the traditions and conventions of how you expect a president to act. I think it's more than that. He never does the right thing, (laughs) regardless of what the the traditions and conventions are of being a president. He never does the right thing. He never takes the road. There are two former presidents that were targeted with type with pipe bombs. I can't, I've worked for both of those presidents. I can't imagine either one of them not calling and checking on someone, making sure they're okay, showing empathy and concern. We got none of that from this president. And Hugh, I appreciate you're trying to throw everybody into the same bucket, but that's an impossible thing to do. This president has incited violence. He has, you know, people at his rallies. He talks about punching people in the face. He talks, throws people out. You know, this is, this, this is how we won the presidency, the politics of fear. There is no equivalent there in the Democratic no Party. There is no equivalent. There's Where? a man screaming at Mitch McConnell in the restaurant. There he is, Maxine Waters screaming people, at a par- at which restaurant. Which violates 18 not, USC 351. If, if we go back to the statute. Hugh, we can talk there. about that, but we're talking about the president of the United States. Are you saying you don't agree that this officials. man has one standard? One standard. Incendiary behavior by any public official right. ought to be. I'll make to the sure same that nobody screams at a republic at a Democratic rally. Lock him up. No, I'm talking about <laughs> or, the guy in McConnell's face. What did you think of that, Stephanie? Should he have been arrested under 18 U.S.C. for screaming at Mitch McConnell and banging on the table and throwing his food? I, I Pause think it. I mean, you see what Hugh Hewitt's doing here. First of all, Hugh Hewitt doesn't even know the man's name. This man of great import, who is sending a broader message to the entire, he doesn't even know his name, and he's playing this game. Get Stephanie Cutter to say that this guy should be arrested for this violation. Being rude to a senator. And the idea that this is being platformed in any way. Because we literally this week, the conversation they're having is about what the implications of platforming this at the highest level of the government does to lunatics out there. But let's let's hear Hugh Hewitt try and justify how there's some type of equivalency here. Arrested under 18 U.S.C. For screaming at Ms. McConnell. And banging on the table and throwing his food. I, I think it's wholly inappropriate. I think that nobody should act that way. But I, I think, you're right, nobody should act that way. That is a constituent... Uh, or whatever you want to call him, not the president of the United States. Susan Collins getting <laughs> a, is, an envelope with rice in it. Right, that, that's wrong. It's everywhere. But, but I just want to say right, one rule. But what it's do you, everywhere. Who do you think incites that violence the most? I don't. I do not blame the president at all. You not, don't not, blame not, the president Not the at most. All. The, everyone uses this rhetoric these days, especially no, on cable not. channels. No, yes, they, they do. Not. do. It's just uh, absolutely garbage and and BS. And someone like that comes on and just delivering that garbage and BS. Why do you let them on? Why do you let them on? Why do you let that be just like, this is really just about who can make the better debate? 